Joining us is Matt Thompson, franchise owner of Hammer and Nails. Welcome. Thanks. Thank you. I feel better already. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm sure you're enjoying it. And, and introduce, this is Kay, yeah, and she's doing the, the facial, oh wow, that looks really weird on there. <laughs> and I'm going to start to do a little grooming on Stephen. Hi, we have person. no idea who that guy is over there. Yes, I've never indeed. met him before. <laughs> so trim up that little beard there a little bit. So, All right, you're brand new there at Hammer Nails, right? Yes, sir. Opened on the, uh, the 5th of November, so about just about a week now, just a little over, uh, close to 10 days. And it's really a great pampering spot for guys, why? Yeah, so uh, we offer a little bit of everything, haircuts, manicures, pedicures, uh, facials, as we can see, some beard trims, straight razor shaves, uh, just some things that maybe you don't see as much in the uh, the male space here in San Antonio as much. But comfortable chairs? Yes. Right? Yes, yeah, so we have uh, really large chairs, the largest uh, in the industry, actually. Uh, leather, you also have a, a full bar so you can get a drink and you can sit back and relax for uh, for an hour or so. Okay, I think you forgot to bring something here. Leather yeah, chairs and, and, the, chairs. and, well, and, and the bottles of bourbon. So, and, and, you know. and, and liquor is incorporated into some of the services, right? It is. It's funny that you bring that up. We do have a jackhammer service that we discussed earlier that has a, the Jack Daniels in it. It's actually a, a pedicure service uh, that, that we offer for sure. So you're sucking your feet in Jack Daniels? Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> it's so Why great. not? Sounds Why good not? to me. Well, so. it's alcohol. <laughs> All right. How do you get guys that maybe work outside all the time and, you know, the big burly guys to come in and get a pedicure? Because yeah. they think, that's what my wife does. Yeah, so it, it does have a little bit of stigma against the male uh, environment, but I think that, uh, one, I think it's really good for your feet, especially if you're on them all day. Construction workers, I think, you know, find that out after they have Over their first... Over time? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> when they have their first pedicure and they take the boots off and, you know, they get their nails clipped, it's surprising, like, how much, like, foot health actually makes working on your feet all day a lot better. And wives like it because then it's another way for them to say, yeah, my wife was right. <laughs> yes. Knew it. <laughs> okay. So Kay is working there, uh, working over there on Stephen's uh, beard. And Kay, what are some beard grooming tips uh, guys should follow? I definitely recommend finding a nice beard comb or beard brush to help with the craziness that most gentlemen find. It helps keep everything healthy too. It helps keep all the, the sand and you know anything from outside out of the beard and it helps keep the skin clean enough for the, the base of the beard to start growing. And you said as far as cleaning, and this is not just a matter of taking a shampoo and just going all over your, your whole face in the shower, right? No, there are special beard washes, beard grooming um, products out there for that specifications. You don't want to use a head, head shampoo that, for your beard because the oil content is everything. The makeup is completely different from this head to the your face. Your scalp and your chin are two different Two different animals. skins, yes. So, oh, really? so Steven's three-in-one shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we definitely don't want him using that anymore. That's, that's, that's definitely a no-no. Now, sometimes, I know, like, I'm two weeks in now to the, the no-shave here, and it starts to, you know, maybe itch a little bit or something like that. Are there, are there special lotions that I should use or what? We, we do have a, a wide variety of beard balms, beard lotions. It's really just kind of what you're looking for in the, the aftermath. We have stuff that makes it more moisturized for itchy skin mm -hmm. or, you know, gentlemen that just need a little bit of help with the craziness going down, just putting a little bit of balm on it to keep everything going from craziness. Okay. So with him, we see that he has a little bit of a, the wiriness going along. A nice beard lotion can also just be helpful to keep everything put down, keep everything looking fresh, even if he gets, doesn't necessarily get a beard trim or anything every week. Because beard hair obviously is a lot tougher and more coarse than a the lot hair on more, your head too, right? Yes, sir. A lot more coarse, a lot more kind of resistance to normal brushing and normal combing of every aspect. Look at how cute Steven looks now. Well, so do you with that. Well, I don't know that. Is it, so with Mike, he's got a clay a clay, clay mask. Clay, clay mask yes, on. Yeah. And why are facials while you're working on Stephen? Why are facials uh, important for guys? Of course, just the general concept of a gentleman having nice skin. Um, <laughs> do you feel on the spot? <laughs> oh, well, John's laughing right now on camera while he's looking at me. I think we should go closer. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's definitely helpful for every part of the skin to be healthy. A nice hydration because most gentlemen have, you know, drier skin. <laughs> hydration helps keep everything smooth, breakouts from less likeliness. How, and how often? I recommend at least once a month or once every two months. So, or if you so when we take this off, will he look like not a day over 45? Not a day over 40. <laughs> or, 40, even or maybe daily or weekly. If they got the big chairs and all that stuff there, yeah. I mean, why not? So where are you located? Yeah, so we're at 11330 Petranco Road, uh, Suite 107. So just outside the loop. 
Okay. okay. All right. All right. Thank you so much. For more information on Hammer and Nails, head to our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just scan that QR code that you see there on your screen. Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell.